Hey, um, I'm going to show you how to run your draw optimizer and how to sim yourself. So you want to go poke in game, uh, do the slash sim C, you should have the simulation craft out on. If not, you can go to your uh, Warcraft, Warcraft logs page and get it from right at the top of your gear panel. It's going to be whatever you logged out on last or updated last, so keep that in mind. It might not be accurate might not be in the right talents. It's preferable to be in your single target talents because we need to run uh, single target uh, sims. So you want to go to Droptimizer on raidbots.com. You want to post it right into here. And then you come down to Avarice the Shadowed Crucible. We're going to run Heroic first, so sim yourself for Heroic. Um, it's going to show all of these, like if you think about it when it comes up you're going to want to compare like should you get something crafted or should you get like if your best item is going to be from Sarkarath uh, maybe don't consider that one because we don't know if we're going to get that shit to drop uh, or if it's like your best stats like none of this shit is my best stats so I'm going to probably make a weapon um, keep in mind that you can only have two of the, uh, uh, if you go to professions, you can only have two embellishments. So if you go and do the profession ones, it's not going to load these when you do your sim because it already has embellishments and I am wearing two. Uh, like the Wither Ot Tome, I know is really good for some classes, but when you go back and you do your your thing, you're gonna go down, do patchwork, one boss, five minutes. You can do like nightly, I guess. Um, that'd be the most up to date. And I would say I uh, just run it with default stuff otherwise, because that's kind of what we want to base it on and have your single target talents. So it, it yeah, that's, that's what's gonna make sense, because a lot of these fights are single target fights. Um, and it's gonna pop up and it's gonna be like, this. It's going to show me that the weapon from Heroic Sarkarath is a 3.5% chance or upgrade, uh, but I'm not going to rely on that because obviously it's probably not going to be something I see drop. Um, there's a lot of things like when we do loot, it's going to be, you know, what are your stats? Is it a big upgrade for you? we go to, let's see, wow it, wow it, and if you paste it in the wow audit uh, personal loot, which is what I would recommend doing, like, I'm going to go and I'm going to get my normal one, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into my um, wish list. Okay, did that one. I'm going to go to the heroic or the mythic one, I guess. I'm going to post that one in. And then I'm going to go to the heroic one, and I'm going to put that one in. So these are going to be all of the items that... I am going to look at for myself coming up and it shows you how much of a percentage increase to your damage it'll be. For healers it's it's not going to... don't rely on this. And tanks probably don't want to rely on this either. So if we go into like the mythic fights, uh, it's going to show that this isn't really an upgrade for me. So I'm probably going to pass this off to someone else. Um, this is outdated, so they're going to need to update that. This isn't an upgrade. This isn't really an upgrade. But if I go to like Lotharian, let's see, like this, this one right here, this is one of my best items because it's uh, set for my class. Um, things that are minor upgrades, like 0 0.07, like is BIS, because it's their BIS stats, but 
it's a bigger upgrade for me um, to take this. So that's something we'd consider. And we can start posting more peoples in here. Like if I go into the Droptimizer channel and I go and copy Lil Tops. Go to personal, go to his, and we'll paste it right in there. And then his is going to populate into the list. You can see all the stuff that he would probably want from Heroic. And that's how we're going to look at that.